Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Got another warm up video for you today. So, this is going to be a video where I'm doing like my own drawing warm up before I start my work for the day. So, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I kind of just sat down without really thinking uh, <laughs> of anything to draw. So, I've had a lot of, uh, oh man, I've had, I've had food on the mind lately. I've been watching, watching a lot of uh, like food shows like cooking shows and like food travel shows and so I've been thinking a lot about um, food I guess so maybe I'll just I'll start off by drawing like uh, some sort of like grill or something I, it, all all these uh, these shows that I've been watching I've been watching this really interesting show that had like a lot of like street food and stuff and I love seeing all the like little like makeshift grills and stuff that people make to cook street food and sell it to people. I just think that's really, really cool. So, um, yeah, let's draw, like, a neat little makeshift grill here. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, this a lot of times... This is actually a really good example of a warm-up for me because a lot of times I will sit down and open up my sketchbook and have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna what I'm gonna draw and a lot of times that's totally fine for a warm-up because you you don't need to draw anything specific um to do a warm-up you can kind of just like draw anything I mean the whole point of warming up is just kind of like you know get yourself all loosened up for for whatever you're gonna work on whether it be a personal project or freelance work or anything like that I almost always do uh, a warm-up drawing it's usually either a sketch in my sketchbook quite like this or um, I'll do just like a little doodle on a piece of paper, like sometimes even just like a thumbnail, like uh, a warm up can be really complex or it can be really simple, but uh, it doesn't really have to be anything in particular. It can just be whatever you feel most comfortable with at the time. So don't feel too much pressure to like do anything crazy for your warm up. You really don't need to. It's really more just about the, the practice of actually just sitting down and uh, just, just drawing something, you know, getting, because because you can sit down and, and jump right into, you know, a bigger project that you're working on. I've, I've done that. Um, but it's often a lot easier to kind of just draw anything, get it out of the way, get yourself warmed up, get yourself in that drawing mindset, and then move on to, uh, you know, something bigger that you want to work on. It's, it's really nice. You know, just like runners and athletes uh, stretch before they do their thing. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the, the, the stretching beforehand, you know, the little... Uh, stretch before you sit down and actually uh, flex your creative muscles, um, so to speak. So, I don't know. I'm getting kind of caught up drawing this uh, little, little grill here. So we're just gonna move this along. I don't know. Some sort of like tasty looking meat on there or something like that. Who knows? Some like some sort of like skewers, vegetables, meat. Some good stuff. Looks pretty good. Been thinking a lot about food. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. It's I love I love watching cooking shows, but I always eat more when I'm watching cooking shows and and things about food because it just makes me think about food, makes me want food. What can I say? So yeah, that's cool. A cool little like grill going here. Like it's charcoal or something. I don't know. Like they're cooking like cook cooking right over just like a bed of coals. I don't know. Sounds kind of cool. But anyway, I'm using the, uh, the, this Kokuyo mechanical pencil. It's a 1.3 millimeter. So the lead is like a little bit bigger than most traditional mechanical pencils. It's probably closest to like the, uh, the size of the lead in an actual like wood pencil. So if, if that gives you an idea of like, uh, what I'm drawing with here, hopefully, Hopefully that's all you need to know. These are these are pretty nice. I, I got this Kokuyo one off of Amazon. Um, you can also get some PaperMate 1.3 millimeter mechanical pencils. Look like this one. You may have seen me using these. These are really nice too, and you can get those at just like Walmart. Like you don't need to go anywhere fancy for those. So if you're interested in trying a mechanical pencil, it's a little bit bigger. Go pick up a pack of the PaperMate ones. They come with like extra lead and erasers and stuff like that. So it's a nice little it's a nice little set, and they're not not expensive at all. And um, if you like drawing with wood pencils and stuff like that, but like the convenience of a mechanical pencil, then I would definitely recommend checking that out because you're, you're going to like it. I can pretty much guarantee because I like it for those reasons. Um, yeah, it's a good one. So, yeah, let's just draw some like, I don't know, like some sort of table or something. 
Gotta have like a cloth on there to keep it from burning the table, right? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that wouldn't entirely make sense, but whatever, I'm just doodling. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna draw. I drew, uh, you see on the other page, that was one of my kind of warm ups from yesterday that I didn't actually record, but uh, I was just more food on the mind, so I was just drawing my character eating different kinds of food because I thought that would be fun. And it was, so yeah, there you go. But I'm not going to spend too long on this. Most of these episodes, for these, these warm up episodes, are just going to be. I usually try to keep it to 10 or 15 minutes, and I'll try to do that specifically for the this this like type of show. Now I have um before mentioned that sometimes I do much longer warm ups and you know maybe maybe once if you guys are interested in seeing that like a, a longer warm up session then uh let me know. Like sometimes I can go 30 45 minutes sometimes. Like if I know I'm going to sit down and work for like several hours straight, then a lot of times I'll do a longer warm up um just to get myself like in that in that headspace of like sitting down and working for a long period of time. And that can really help kind of, uh, it's hard to describe other than just like getting myself in the mindset to draw this, you know, because it's really, it's really easy to just be like hanging around the house and, you know, doing anything else other than sitting around to draw. But if you like, you know, make yourself sit down and warm up and draw something either fun or just spur of the moment or whatever, then you'll feel better about working on whatever it is that you got to work on uh, after that. It's also nice to kind of, you know, draw for yourself for just a second because I work on a lot of different projects and some days I barely get a chance to draw for myself and or I don't get a chance at all to just draw something that I want to draw. And a warm-up can be a great chance to just get that out of your system before you have to work on a bunch of other stuff. So I like doing it for that reason. But there's so there's so many good there's so many good reasons to to warm up. It's so it's it's so beneficial. I, I can definitely feel a difference between, you know, warming up first as opposed to just sitting down and jumping right into a drawing. And even though, like, you know, I, by, by the act of warming up, like, I'm kind of just sitting down and jumping into a drawing, but it's, it's more of, like, the mindset of there's no, there's no stakes. Like, I'm just, I'm just doing a warm-up. It's fun. It's loose. It doesn't have to be good. You know, like, just that kind of idea that, you know, when you're working on a project, it's like you want it, you want it to be good. Like there's more on the line, but with a warm up, there should be nothing on the line. And I think that's what's going to help. You know, with that, that sense of like, oh well, I, I want to sit down and draw, and I'll, I'll, I'll draw something that's, you know, doesn't matter at all before I sit down and draw the things that really do matter. And and the nice thing about warming up is even even though it's you know something that you're like, oh well, it's just a, you know, it's just a practice drawing. Like, there's, there's no stakes. It doesn't have to be good or anything like that. Sometimes my best work will come out of my, or at least in my opinion, my best work will come out of my warm-up drawings, you know. Sometimes you get some really, some really cool stuff out of that, you know, mindset of just sitting down and drawing casually rather than putting a whole bunch of pressure on yourself to, like, you know, make a cool comic or, or you know, work on a, a portrait or something like that, you know, because things like that, there's a lot, a lot higher stakes, a little bit more stressful, but... Warming up should be a, a, a non-stress type of experience, you know. Take, take the stress out of drawing before you <laughs> then sit down and put the stress back into it. You know what I mean? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But uh, if you guys have, like, your own, like, warm-up rituals or anything like that, uh, it'd be really cool if you'd like to share it because uh, I usually have, like, a ritual for my warm-ups, like, before I sit down to draw, you know, whether it's like you get yourself a cup of coffee or a, a snack or you put on your your favorite playlist or, or something like that. You know, if, you, if you've if you got something like that, you may not even realize that you do it. It may just be something that you do because you you like to draw music on and or you, you like to draw with music on rather. And uh, you don't you don't even really think about it. It's just like something that you automatically do. I, I did that for a while. And um, then I realized like, wow, I, I, you know, I get myself my either my music playlist going or something to watch, you know, that's not super distracting. Like on YouTube, I get my cup of coffee um, and I get usually like a snack set to the side for whenever I get hungry. So I don't have to get up and go get a snack if I'm, you know, in the middle of drawing. Because a lot of times if, if I'm drawing and I'm in the zone and e even if I'm starving, like even if I'm super hungry, like I will not get up to feed myself. So uh, a lot of times having a snack on hand for me is a really good idea because then I can 
keep myself fed and, you know, nourished without having to uh, get up and take myself out of whatever I'm working on at that moment. So maybe if you, if, if you don't have something like that, like if you don't have like a ritual, you know, something that you do before you sit down to draw every time or most times, then maybe, maybe think about something like that, you know, because that's also a great way to get yourself in the habit of doing something is to like create a ritual around it. Because if, you know, if you, it's like Pavlovian, right? Like if you give yourself a treat before you sit down to, to draw, like drawing will be a more enjoyable experience that you want to do more often because I mean, you're just conditioning your brain to associate, uh, sitting down to draw with, with treats and, and good things. So you know, if, if that's what it takes, if you got to train yourself like a dog to sit down and draw, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So yeah, just, just, you know, whatever works is, is really the biggest, the, the, the biggest, the biggest advice I can give. Just do the, the biggest advice, the best advice. No wonder I was like tripping over myself there. The best advice I can give is to just do whatever works, do whatever works for you. Don't, don't, you know, buy into any preconceived notions of, this is how you need to draw. Even if it's me telling you, oh, you should warm up. If you don't want to warm up, then don't. You know, that's a great thing about art is you can do it however you want to. There's no rules. And, uh, you know, I, I like to give advice. I like to make suggestions. I like to share experiences that I've had in the hopes that, you know, they could help somebody uh, or, or something like that, or even just inspire someone. But uh, by no means do I ever say that, you know, oh, you should take my advice. You know, if you, if you don't feel like taking my advice, you know, it's, it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong, you know, different, different is good. And if you have, if you have a better solution or you have a solution that, that you like, please, by all means, share it because I, I love learning, uh, the, the, about the ways that different people, um, do creative things. And I think it's really fascinating. I'm, I'm really, really passionate about that kind of thing, you know, um, just, you know, because we're all, we're all in this together and art is such like a wonderful, broad, beautiful thing. And I think that, uh, if we all, you know, like work with each other and help each other and inspire each other, like we can make some really, really cool things. So yeah, I think art is, art is neat. Long story short, art is neat. And if you're here, I hope you think art is neat too. And if you need some convincing, uh, mm, art is, art is neat. I promise. Trust, just trust me. Just trust me. Art is cool. Uh, but yeah, so working on my little doodle here, uh, just G walking through like some market or something, seeing some delicious looking street food, mm, some like fish kebabs or something like that, I don't know, like crab, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm making myself hungry, hope I'm not making you guys hungry too, sorry, sorry if I, if I made you hungry. Like everybody is like gonna watch this episode and get up immediately after and like get something to eat and it's all my fault. So I'm sorry. I've just been thinking a lot about food. Thinking a lot about food. I really like food. But yeah, this is like, you know, when I, I like I like doing nice easy warm ups like this. I like taking, you know, maybe something that I've been thinking about or, you know, something that's been inspiring me or on my mind and, you know, maybe throwing my own character in it to make it comfortable and something that, you know, I can draw in 15 minutes because if, if, if I was designing a completely new character here, you know, it might take me a little bit longer to think about like, oh, you know, like what you're going to be wearing and all that stuff. But like with my own established characters, it's a lot quicker to be like, oh yeah, this is my character. I'm just going to draw her in right here. I already know, you know, what she looks like and I know, uh, you know, what she wears and, and stuff like that. So if you if you do have OCs or or you uh, have like characters from you know media that you like, yeah, anime or movies or or whatever, like it's always cool to draw something that's established and familiar, uh, even if it's not your own content. Like I said, like if there's you know anime characters or movie characters or anything that you really like, um, that can be a really really good subject for a warm up because it's something that you enjoy. It's something that is familiar. You don't have to put a ton of thought into it. Uh, great, great for warm-ups. Also, uh, drawing for reference is always good for warm-ups too. And um, I've done a lot of that in my show, Arts and Farts. There's a bunch of episodes on YouTube. I haven't put one out in a while, um, but it's definitely something that I'm working on. So keep an eye out for those uh, coming pretty soon. 
Uh, no, no word exact on a, a, like an actual like release date or something. Uh, my schedule has been in flux for weeks, and so I kind of just have to take things day by day. Do videos when I can, uh, work on things when I can, and you know update you guys when I can. So I will do my best, and hopefully things will be getting a little bit more stable uh, as we as we get further into the year here. But things are things are going good. It's going going really well. Busy, but. That's not necessarily a bad thing, you know. So, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you guys like these these style of videos. If you saw the other warm up video and you like this one too, please let me know. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments and tell tell me about what you do for warm ups if you feel like if you feel like sharing. This is a pretty quick one for me, about fifteen minutes here. And uh, sometimes if I if I do like this this style of warm up and I'll like do some lion art and you know not really shaded or anything like that. Sometimes if I work for a few hours and then take a break, I'll come back and like finish this up. Maybe add some color, some shading, or just you know do some extra doodles in the in the blank space. So it's fun. It's fun. So I definitely recommend trying it. If you're not the type of person that warms up, maybe give it a shot. See how it goes. See how you like it. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope it's been fun. I hope you enjoyed it and all that. As always, I love you guys. Thanks again. And I'll see you soon. Hey, right? bye.